Oh my god. I have a special little star. Unlike you, Timmy. You have been a very bad gravy baby. As you did not hit the like and subscribe button. Blah, 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 blah. Hello, everybody. And today we're going to be having fun in the brand new DLC by Blood Alone. Where today I want to play Mussolini. Look at him. He's so proud. And so useless. Uh, I would play on Iron Man. But I literally just got done playing my Italy Iron Man game. And uh, I did two of them. I did the Pope. And then I just... Uh, I did all this. And everyone is my puppet. So uh, yeah. I'm not going to do that. Instead I will just be playing boring old non-achievement hunting Hoi 4. So much like we did the Pope. We want to beat Ethiopia before they can go ahead and go into exile. As that is not a very fun game mechanic. And once again unlike the Pope video. We're going to be trying to keep you around there you go one less ethiopia for the world all right now let's get our ass out of here and never look back i'm sure you all remember this old tactic we're going to war immediately with the french to knock them out probably with paratroopers on paris if it still works as soon as we've proclaimed ourselves as the new emperor of ethiopia we're very quickly going to be getting the hell out of ethiopia we're going to go ahead and start sliding this into the power of Mussolini away from the council of cringe yeah look we've taken over completely and uh Mussolini's now got a little hat there you go ain't he cool wow hey, let's see how this goes I do have a little naval invasion plan just for this port um but I'm hoping we capitulate them just with taking a few little provinces over here but you know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a frontline attack as well landed and now we are gonna go ahead and pop the paratroopers too apparently that was actually enough to capitulate them I guess I'm gonna have to take more not try it again now that we've got a big breakthrough and there you go that shall do it. Here we go. Now, I did go ahead and puppet the French down here just because I didn't want to bother garrisoning all of this stuff. It's already going to be a bit of a pain to garrison France. Oh, so you didn't know, they actually did buff uh, how much resistance does, and it does add up, especially when I desperately start making guns. I, uh, I think you probably uh, know what's coming next. God, yeah. Uh, garrisoning France right now is just too expensive. I'm just going to go give it back to them, and then we'll annex them all back later. I'd much prefer to just keep the guns to myself because I am, I am literally getting rinsed of guns from this. Oh, we're also just going to get rid of uh, Ethiopia by forming this. That way we don't have to deal with that either. We're not even going to wait around here. We are going straight in for the kill. And we're also going to use our quick justification time here to also get a few more people we need. And yep, unsurprisingly, early war UK uh, doesn't do too great. Actually, uh, <laughs> engaging part of the British Navy there. Did we, uh, did we do okay? Got the Turks in. We're now going to get get the Yugoslavians in, we'll get the Greeks in, maybe the Bulgarians, we're gonna get everyone involved in this big man. I'm uh, just gonna make sure I don't capitulate the UK before I get everyone that I want. And there we go, did we get everybody in the peace deal? We did, nice. Uh, I didn't realize I accidentally <laughs> gave the UK to Italian Greece. <laughs> Oops, and there goes Bulgaria, you know what, might as well keep up tradition and just give it to Italian Greece. There you go, that's pretty nice, I got to to say. Now, I'd kind of like Spain, uh, but Spain's still in their civil war, so I guess we'll have to wait. Oh, never mind. I think I might be able to yoink the entire Iberian uh, Peninsula like we did with the Pope. Uh, I'll have to wait to see if that becomes an option after they finish their civil war, because right now, only Portugal would get the event. Now, we're going to have to work on annexing everyone now. Uh, I've noticed that you can no longer actually uh, lend these convoys, which is kind of stupid. Uh, you can still lend loose trains, though, and that should do the job. I just shot Italian Greek. <laughs> Britain's back in my hand. Well, the Germans just actually straight up declared we're on the checks. Uh, this could be an interesting time to actually go in on them. Oh, never mind. The Germans peaced out before I could snake my way in there. You lucky sons of some. And did the uh, all roads lead to Rome uh, focus? I got a lot of war, a lot of war goals. Very handy as it takes forever to justify on them nowadays. Portugal said no, but Spain said you're in for a bad time, Portugal. And there she blows. Anyway, I forgot about little Portugal. Almost forgot about little old Luxembourg there. But not for long. Uh, we're also getting the Hungarians. I did join the uh, German fact just for a second. Just in case they uh, declare war on me. Because they do get war goals on France. But uh, I'll be annexing them in a second. Nice. Now let's go ahead and click the annex button for France. And oh, we are looking nice. Whilst I'm doing this conquering by the way. I do get missions <laughs> from the man himself to uh, do menial tasks. Some sort of like mini side quest. <laughs> uh, Mussolini just bursts into whoever's room I am. <laughs> 
just tells me to build 300 new fighter aircraft or he'll be very upset. We got after annexing all the puppets we need, we can now realize our Roman ambitions and do a bit of ministry. Didn't know, Italian for my nostrils. There we are, <laughs> we're Roman. Uh, now to actually get all this stuff integrated, we do have to spend even more political power. So I guess we won't be doing a focus for a while. Well, I think we'll be leaving your faction now, Germany. Have fun on your own. And all the Soviets. And I think I might stab them in the back finally. And uh, go ahead and click the decision to avenge Duisburg. <laughs> a bit of a statue of limitations when you can, um, can't really claim it's revenge anymore. <laughs> Imperial Romano seeks extensive military purpose. But uh, I, I guess we've had a bit of a rebranding, haven't we? Uh, I just realized as well, <laughs> America still exists, but I don't think they'll be doing anything unless Japan actually declares war on the Philippines. Oh, also, fun note, by the way, I puppeted Indonesia, but didn't have enough to take all of Indonesia, so there are two Indonesias. This Indonesia doesn't like me, though. They're currently embargoing <laughs> the Imperium Romano. Yeah, I'd, 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 uh, I'd embargo us two were pretty cringe. Also did the uh, South American invite to all the people, so I'm going to have the, the most top-notch allies in the world. Yeah, that's right. All of South America... <laughs> rightfully belongs to the Romans. Oh, this might just be the worst thing in the entire world. All I'm saying, all right, is Brazil is the rightful successor to the Roman Empire. So I would never, ever usually do this in a billion years, but we are going for super heavy tanks. There they go. With this focus, we get a 20% production cost reduce for <laughs> super heavy tanks. I mean, they suck completely, but I gotta do it. All right, well, uh, here's the tank. Uh, yeah, pretty, uh, not very good reliability. <laughs> but it could be worse. Way worse. This thing sucks, but I I'm committing to it. All right, the Germans are, uh, yeah, they're not doing very well at all. I have seen them struggle quite a lot recently, uh, which actually is going to be a bit annoying because now I'm going to have to have a peace conference with Germany when I take them out with the Soviets involved. It's going to be messy. It was anything been simple on this channel ever. No. Um, well, I like how in this picture he has the little hat on, but uh, he, he doesn't have the little hat on over here. Waited around long enough. We're going to see what we can do to the Germans. Uh, absolutely destroy them. We're not going to declare right on them, though. We are going to declare on Denmark, which uh, will actually call Japan. We'll see. I don't care. I'll kill Japan, too. Yep. Guess we got to deal with this one over here, too. Germans almost pulled a little sneaky there. Good thing they had some units in back. <laughs> They, they deposed Mussolini. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> At last I checked, our balance of power is like right in the middle. Uh, there's been nothing I can do for the longest time to get it higher, but I, I guess I just got rid of him. I mean, I guess the benefit is that is I don't have to do his stupid little side quests anymore. And, uh... That's, that's all I can think of. Uh, yeah, I have no idea, though, why I had, like, no option. Like, I literally have nothing here now. Why I can't move the balance of power further up. There's, like, no advisors that do it either, which is, uh, yeah, it's all very weird. We are in the peace store, and they have a lot. They have a lot of points. A lot. That's, uh, it's not, not a very fortunate front line, is it? Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with this. So yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do to get Mussolini back now. But uh, if we actually go down here, uh, <laughs> well, if we go all the way down here, we get a civil war, which doesn't seem good. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> I'm gonna have to like stop putting Mussolini's face on like milk cartons. Like, have you seen this man? Please, we need an emperor. Well, thankfully, the Americans have landed in Tokyo, which means I don't have to go over there and uh, d deal with it myself. Send military equipment to our puppets, but uh, still not enough. <laughs> still not enough. He muffs are finally going to enter the battlefield. Did the AI do too? We're just not gonna look over there. We're gonna go for, <laughs> go to all the Soviet. God, these things suck. So I mean, uh, they're the best thing ever. Way they're gonna change the tide of this war. <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? Right, <laughs> in go the behemoths. Wow, look at them go. They're, they managed to beat that one Soviet Union, but they're struggling with this one up here. Right, they, they did technically work. Uh, their problem is, though, they are uh, obviously incredibly slow. A snail's 
pace completely. By the time they, they turn up, I think the battle's usually over. Ah, he's back! Uh, still nothing else I can do about uh, actually increasing. I can only decrease this unless I start new walls so I can send stuff to Peru and Venezuela, which will prove that Mussolini can come back. What is this logic? It'd be safe to say uh, the Soviets aren't feeling too peachy right now. Either that's because uh, my leader could be stolen from me at any moment for <laughs> reasons out of my control. Japan and China, uh, I guess. What? Well, who you're at war with there, China, because there are so many Japans now. Still, uh, mechanics, I think, need a little bit of a rework. Supply issues when invading the uh, Soviet Union? Well, I'm about to make it 20 times worse with my super heavy tanks. Unit into Stalingrad. Uh, the first unit into Stalingrad. The very super heavy, very fast tank. Jabroni through history went ahead and did elephants over the Alps. I got a thing called super heavy tanks across the Urals, okay? Oh. Uh... Yeah, that's a lot of dead people for a very short period of time. Broke my cipher, which is hilarious because I just broke their country. Time. Finally time for me to avenge Tutabug Forest. <laughs> Remember like 2,000 billion years ago where like your people killed my people, but my people are actually the same as your people because we went to Italy and we settled there. So the people that you killed were actually the ancestors of the people who used to live where I used to live. I mean, it's all a bit complicated, but it's revenge. Popped out. Regnum Bospori. I just throw them out there into the world. Well, have fun! Regnum Bospori. Look, now I can send Regnum Bospori some military equipment, and that means people will like me more. Dead. And I apparently have to kill Estonia. Give me a minute. They're calling the business, uh, overkill. <laughs> Wait, what? Why do I have to also capitulate Soviet Denmark? What? As on who I have to kill to end this war, now we're going to Norway. Back down to Estonia. Soviet Denmark die. I think like a good game of musical war leader. Oh, I'm free. We did it. We actually did it. There we go. For a second, I thought I'd also have to invade Soviet Japan, but thankfully, not today. Regnum Bospori. Uh, we also get options here to take our island and the rest of the Middle East, but I don't really care, I won't lie. Hey guys, annex them in the console to see if that, no, it does nothing else. Okay, so the game has now been completed. And I also just got myself uh, behind enemy lines. Take control of the enemy capital You're using a paradrop order. Nice. Okay, well, there we go. We uh, we had a fun game, and I guess the only thing left to do before I leave is to immediately shoot Mussolini. There you go. Boom. He's gone. <laughs> the he's <laughs> Augustus Mussolini. He's gone. In fact, hold on. Let's just see what happens if I cause the civil war. I think we can do it. There we go. Okay. Nothing like a good Roman civil war, eh? Wait. Okay, we will keep control of it and become the Republic Social Italiana. We will become a subject of Brazil. I told you. I told you! Look at that. Look at it! <laughs> uh, it's kind of sad when they got into Civil War, but uh, <laughs> there they are. Super heavy tanks. Uh, well, I guess that was the Civil War. Uh, you do get like a new part of your focus tree when you do this, if for whatever reason you'd ever do this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's not a lot. It's, it, it's something though. All right, while well, Brazil is the true inheritor of Rome, uh, I guess I'll, I'll become free now, Brazil. Smell you later. They accepted, of course they did, because uh, you know it were the fake Rome, we're not the real Rome. They don't want us anymore. They they've already got Rome. All right, though, I guess that is all she wrote for that one. We had a lot of fun today. I uh, enjoyed this, the wacky ride, even though like who's Leopoldo Cassani over here? Uh, Augustus uh, Mussolini. Uh, he, well, he's disappeared. I'm not too sure why Paradox hasn't done stuff that you can actually bring the balance of power back to Mussolini, or maybe I'm missing something, but I did not get any decisions. So maybe you guys know, leave me a like and comment down below and let me know what the hell was going on. Uh, but anyway, I guess I'll leave off today and uh, go ahead and go do something else. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button for more. But until then... Regnum Bospori.